Hey folks, my name is Caleb from Brainspin and today I want to give a short review on Adobe Experience Design. Now this just came out today and this is the first time I'm going to use it. This is a screen right here that uh, has been designed in the past. I found this on sketchappsources.com. It's a really good resource to be able to find a really good templates. I'm going to try to recreate this screen in Experience Design for the first time and compare it to my experience with Sketch and kind of talk about what I like about the approach that Experience Design is going for and what I like about Sketch and kind of balance the two out. So to get started, I'm going to jump right here into Experience Design. This is your splash startup screen. Um, from here you would select the interface that you're going to use. I'll choose the iPhone 6. We'll have that pull up. And, and the first thing I want to do is probably grab some of these colors. I'm going to scale this down and I'll have this on the side to kind of use as, as a reference as I go along. So um, first thing that I see here is it looks really similar to Sketch. Some of the layout is is much the same. So I'm going to try to change the background color first of all and I, I assume that that's done here. So I'm going to try this eyedropper tool come over here and pick that color. So I've got that. Now we'll try this navigation. I'll try R for rectangle and see if that, yep, that works. There's an R, so that's the same as Sketch there. In Sketch, I do Control C for color, and that shortcut doesn't work, but I'm sure there's a, another shortcut for this uh, eyedropper. But until I find out what that is, I'm going to just hide this border color. So it seems pretty intuitive so far. Uh, I'll try just uh, 50 pixels. Now T for text seems to work. Um, one thing I tried to do right when I um, typed something was to click away and I guess I have to hit escape to get out of the text tool hold down option that uh, does the same old Mac command just duplicating works in all Mac apps almost all of them. And I'm going to try to resize this to somewhere around 16 get these to fit a little bit. I really like that spacing showing me, you know, if I were to have this 15, let's say, bring this, it's going to snap here at 16 to tell me that that's similar to, to some of those objects. So I like that, but what I'll do is I'll select all these um, and distribute evenly, and then I'll group these. Uh, one thing I liked about Sketch is being able to click this uh, center and it would center on the artboard, but it looks like that's great out here, so I, that works handy enough. Uh, I'm going to make this font white. Okay, and then L for line. And I'll give that in Sketch, you're able to drag in the inspector, drag the numbers from left to right to increase like the stroke width. And with some of Adobe's products, they have the same feature, but it's not incorporated here right now. I assume later on as they upgrade, they will have a feature like that to be able to quickly change the border width or the radius. Now, here's what's neat is we're going to divide this into four pieces here. Uh, so, so first thing that I can do is just draw a rough rectangle. This is what I really liked about Comet or Experience Design that I saw first of all is we want to have some pictures in here so um, what I'm going to do is just add some text in here and hit escape, uh, hold down option and is the most populous city in Turkey. Okay, that's good. and. I really like how you can resize the text here. So I'll try something similar to that. But also, let's see if there's a way to wrap the text. It's not apparent right off how that's done. Let me go back into text and see. Take away width. Yeah, so one of the hiccups that I'm noticing right now is I'm not able to wrap text, I guess, which seems a little bit weird. What if I did this? So I guess that's you'd probably have to start off this way for a one-liner or this way for multiple lines. So I'll do is the most 
pop yeah okay populous city in Turkey okay and then let me change the size to around 14 and I'll bring that over here now I'm able to kind of size this up how I want to okay so let's start off with that and let's say that I want to grab all these and this repeat grid is what I've seen in some of their earlier videos so that's pretty handy let's say I make it let's bring this over here to the very edge and let's bring that so that's like the window that you want it to be viewed in this thing's really neat so it gives you the the padding in between or the margins and then I can double click let's say if I do that and have it match the entire width now if I click back away and click on it I can remove that that padding okay and I'll bring this back down here so now what I'm going to do is match this so that four fits down here so I'm going to do something about like that but let's let's grab this window and just snap it here to the artboard okay and try this a little more okay I think that should work and then bring that down right there so now let me try just selecting one of these I've got some images right here I'm gonna select these four images from my finder just drag it in here and it looks like it changes all all of this let's just go back to this text here I'm gonna make a white fill and then I'm probably decrease the opacity here a little bit okay and then I'll center these a little bit more towards the center right here and maybe increase the, the size right here. Change some of this. Okay, and then some of the last things you wanna do is, is add some text here. So let's say, what if I like this text? I wanna copy this and then click outside and paste. Yeah, that kind of breaks it out of that little repeat grid, so you can use that somewhere else. So I'm going to type a tourist guide, add it right here. I really like the snapping here. It, it's much better and, and snappier. It kind of is more predictable where it's going to snap than what I've seen in Sketch. And I'm going to go to my trusty icons 8 here and do a globe, globe icon. So one thing I really like in Sketch is being able to change the feel of an image. Let's see if that works and how it works here. Um, not very good. Let's try something else. So that's one thing I noticed just right off the bat is uh, in Sketch you can go over here and choose fill and it'll fill this PNG so this is white. Makes it really easy for starting out with PNG graphics icons or whatever and then uh, later go into SVG. So that's something that would really irritate me through the design. Um, and then I'll do a hamburger menu. And I'll just drag that over here. Okay, so just something really fast. Um, my overall review here experiences yes this is the very first release everything was really snappy really clean fast and you know I can just to give you an overview of the prototype I'm just gonna um, option drag this and let's say this was one screen for just uh, London so I'm gonna click on this image here change the padding to go clear down here um, bring that up just like that and you've got just one image now so we'll start that off as a is an image that um, this can kind of connect to so if you go jump to prototype I can right off the bat probably click on this and then I assume this I can snap into here and this is going to be slide left or slide right I'm um, gonna try slide left and then maybe this play button 
So let's try this. Yep, works good. I haven't picked a way to go back. Maybe I'll just click on this globe to go back. Drag this over to this screen and slide right. Let's see how that looks. Maybe, I don't know if I have to refresh or not. Nope, don't even have to refresh. So that's really nice. And it has a nice recording feature. I really like that. That's where the promise is here with experience design is the ability to prototype directly in uh, the program. So I think this shows a ton of promise. I don't think that I'm going to be moving over to it from Sketch right now, but like Adobe said, this is kind of a pre-launch to kind of get feedback and they said they're going to make major updates once a month and they're going to get that feedback and figure out how users use it. So I'm really excited for that and I, I'm going to continue to look at experience design and see uh, when I can make the move because I think it will be worth it to do the prototyping design all in one screen um, and I really like that that grid the repeat grid just really handy feature I think I'm already going to miss it jumping over back over to sketch for some of my designs so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments below thank you